this is Kenny Martin for Photo Training For You and today we've got a fantastic shoot for you. We're in the middle of the Scottish borders up the beautiful Manor Valley. We've got loads of stuff to contend with today. We've got wind, we've got rain, we've got soggy ground, we've got everything's against us. But somehow it kind of suits the environment because it's just incredible. The shoot we've got today for you, I'm really excited about, yeah? We're photographing uh, an elite cyclist, 17 year old girl called Katie Winton. She's in the next uh, Commonwealth Games. She's tra trained with Olympic squad. As I say, she's an elite, elite athlete, so that means she's actually a full-time biker. This is early on in her career. She's making really big waves, and I'm quite excited to be able to take her first kind of publicity pictures. It's brilliant. We need a film for photo training for you. She needs some pictures for her portfolio. I see a portfolio for publicity, etc. And it's just been a perfect match. We're going to do a few different shoots with her today to get a different styles, uh, you know, that, or different styles of pictures to use for various things. And the first one we're going to use is she was born and she's bred up here. She lives up here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a kind of the hero shot, you know. We're going to do this fantastic sort of epic kind of shot in the in the countryside. Lots of space with the bike. I've got an envision for it. I hope it comes comes to fruition. We're um, we're using quadros today. This is going to test how great these lights are in terms of waterproofness because they're getting guy wet. Uh, I'm going to use three lights. I'm going to use a, a main light. I'm going to use a kicker light just to fill in some detail perhaps on the bike. And I'm going to use a backlight which is going to kind of rim it and give a, a massive amount of light coming from the behind, which will I'll, I'll just make it that wee bit more cinematic and, and kind of epic. Um, I'm photographing in two cameras today. I'm going to photograph my phase one and I'm going to photograph on the Canon 7, uh, uh, 7D. The reason I'm using both is I don't want any mess, mess up with this. I want to make sure I get the shot so if there's any problems at all, I'm kind of double covered. Uh, I'm shooting at 800 ISO. Uh, the 800 ISO plus setting on my phase one camera, remember, that gives me a 10 megapixel file as opposed to a 40 megapixel file. So, but we get the quality of 200 ISO. Basically, it dumps three quarters of the pixels out, out the image. Um, but no problem with that whatsoever. They'll still print massively, so um, I, I, I don't really care about that. The main reason for shooting 800 ISO, of course, is so that I can uh, get some real drama in the image. Because I want to be shooting these about 22. I want the camera to be 22, but I want to be shooting about 250th of a second. So what that's going to do, of course, is that's going to make the sky behind, which, to be honest, is a bit bland at the minute, and I'm hoping I'm going to get a little bit more action in the sky but it, it'll make the sky incredibly dark, it'll make Katie really stand out, and it'll just give it that real kind of epic kind of um, sportsman type picture. We're waiting for Katie just now, she's unbelievable. We're about three, four, five miles down the valley, we went to her house, and I said, how are you gonna get the bike up there? She says, I'll just cycle it up, and then I'll cycle it back. And um, it took us ages to drive, and she's actually cycling. So we've set up now, we're waiting for her arriving, and I'm really looking forward to this shoot. Um, I'm, it's going to be fantastic. So we'll um, catch you later on once Katie arrives, and we'll kind of explain what I'm doing uh, with the shoot. The plan is, Katie, that you're going to be standing in front of this, this light here. I think that's quite good, actually. That kind of, do you know what I mean? So we're here, and just you're going to be looking up at that light, yeah? yeah? Like I'm sort of even looking, kind of just at, even looking at the camera type of thing, yeah? Okay. So you try that just now, right? We'll see. We'll just do a test shot and see what it's like. Yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll change my mind. I'm going to turn you around this way, mm -hmm. right? So you're there and there, and now you're going to turn your body around a wee bit, right? Hand on there. Now up to the eye. Fantastic. <laughs> did, you, did you get that? <laughs> this is what the members pay for. Yes. Um, I'll maybe get you to put both hands on there. Yep. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, that looks better. Brilliant. And then, so, it's fantastic, right? So that head's coming round. Eyes to my, right? That's fantastic, right? A nice kind of severe, yeah, yeah. Nice sort of severe kind of, you know, Superhero type pose, yeah? Right. Fantastic. That's us. It's brilliant. Okay, beautiful. Right, I'm just wanting to check. Massively powerful, it's beautiful. And again. Great, I'm coming in a bit closer. Fantastic. Love it. 
Really good. I'm getting a little bit of light in the sky now. It's good. I'm also getting, I'm also getting wet, but what the hell? One more. Epic. Oh, it's really powerful. Let's get these charged up, it's brilliant. I've got Katie's head right in the middle of a light area in the background, in the sky, and it looks fantastic. Right, I need to change my battery. I have just got very wet. Let me just change the battery on this, because this light makes such a difference. I need to clean my lens. Otherwise, it's not going to look too great. The image, however, is looking amazing. Right, Katie, see him again, please. Awesome. Awesome. Really strong. One more. Get that light back in again. Now, change camera very quickly. Fantastic. Right, beautiful. Awesome shot. Awesome. Fantastic. I'm going to have one tiny little bit of retouching to do. I've got a leg sticking underneath, but I can't get rid of it. So I, I, I do see it. I'm going to sort it later. Right, Katie, this time, can you just uh, look down at me? Looking back up again. Super. Loving it. This should be on the cover of every biking magazine ever. Totally awesome. So much so I'm going to change my lens to a wider lens. I'm going to go for a 17 millimeter. You must, you must work really quickly with these kind of shots. You can't mess around. Brilliant. <laughs> there is a fantastic bit of light right behind Katie's head, which is just fantastic. Right, just, re just relax a second. Oh, I've got to position you somewhere else now. You like? Yeah, I love. <laughs> In fact, I love so much, I think actually, I think actually I've got the shot, so I might not actually bother doing much more here. Uh, it's getting very cold. It's on, we'll do one more shot. We'll do one more shot. Let's try and make something different. It's interesting this because you know I keep going back to using one light and how powerful it is but also keeping all your lights on the same side. I'm keeping the same principle here. Uh, I'm going to use this as my main light, whether it's going to stay there is anybody's guess but that's my main light at the minute. And I'm going to put a lower light on as a kicker light coming up from this side and then I've got my background light here but nothing on this side. So it keeps the power and the drama in the picture better. Because it's only a small reflector that's on here, nice, powerful, hard light, because it's only a small one, it's not really giving me enough light hitting this side of the bike here. 
And I would quite like that, so this is why... This is why I'm putting this... <laughs> he loves this, by the way. He loves it. Oh, there he goes again. It's falling again. So that light's coming in sort of lower there. Um, I'm going to turn it down just a touch. Um, and I'm going to take a, a quick reading. I'm still looking for 22, but I'm a wee bit closer now. Looking for 22. I'm just about there. Ooh. 22, 5. Okay. I'm also going to try and make my life a wee bit easier by putting this down, giving me less to less to see. Yeah. Bang on. Superb. Straight. Bring your head this way a touch, but I want you straight to me, eyes to me. That's great. Brilliant. Looking right above me. Right above me, yeah. There, that's it. Let me get my other camera just for a second. I never for a minute intended to be lying around in the wet today. Not for a minute did I envision that, <laughs> however. Keep this on here, right? Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, just in the, this isn't the main shot in any case, it's just a, a filler. Awesome. Let me just try one more and then we'll change it. Right, this time, Bring the bike this angle. Uh, yep. And maybe uh, just strength, do you know what I mean? So you go back a wee bit and then lean onto the bike. Right, that's fantastic. Love it. Right. Superb, just there. Looking up to the light for me. I'm wondering why you're out of focus. You're not out of focus at all. You're just well smeared with rain. But yeah, these are the challenges in these sort of shots. You will get, you know, pictures that I've got. When you've got smitty rain like this, it's all over the place. It's really hard to control, but I know we're going to get something fantastic. Right, give me that thing again. Beautiful. One more. Loving it. Get my other camera. I have went through so many pairs of jeans this trip. It's just no funny. This, however, is 100% what I had envisaged for this shot. And it's lovely when it comes to fruition like this. It's brilliant. Right, so, good. There we go. Let's get another one. Brilliant. Just there. Brilliant. That'll do us. Right. That was a, a very wet and quite difficult and slippy and all the rest of it shoot, but phenomenally successful images, exactly what I wanted. That was brilliant. You were brilliant, by the way. Standing in all that <laughs> wet. Um, I think the pictures are going to be, and you said the word epic. Uh, once I get them into post production as well, just boost them up a little bit. It's going to be great. We're going to head off now with uh, Katie down to our light workshop, and I'm going to do some photographs in there with all the bikes and bits and pieces, and that's going to be the next part of the shoot. <sighs> a lot of money's worth in here. <laughs> I'll not give the location away. Location. Absolutely. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's an interesting place and it's kind of obviously 
very relevant to what Katie does and if we can include some of the bikes and all the rest of it in the images that'll be great. I'm going to start off the shoot in here with a window light, it's simply, it's just this window, there's only one window in the place, I've switched all the rest of the lights off, it's going to be very dramatic, so I'm going to be using this window here, unfortunately it's actually just at the right place for me, there's Katie's slightly smaller than I am, so she's going to be down about here, and there's actually a bit of light coming in this window here, um, which is, it's not a lot of light, but it's beautiful light, so I'm going to use this, I'm going to start off a wide angle, get all this stuff in, and then I'm probably going to go to a longer lens, a couple of different looks, and Katie's just basically going to be in, in here. Uh, I think it'll be kind of cool. See, you obviously do that, eh, because you did that naturally. Mm -hmm. So the, the crossing your arms is a good thing. So um, we'll start off, and first thing I'm going to do is take a reading. I'm, I'm back on in my 800 ISO again. Obviously, we're in very low light conditions, so um, we're needing a higher ISO because of that. So I'm going to take a reading towards the main light, and that reading is giving me... 30th of a second at 2.8, so it's a 4.5 lens, so I'm going to have to go up to that, there we go, let's take another, uh, five, six, quarter, eight, eight's at 4.5, could you stand there for me Katie, just in that gap for me, thank you, oh, a cool light, lean against the back, love it, brilliant, just looking out the window for a second, that's great, really like it. So I'm on tripod, of course, um, and I'm going to come in just in front of you, Jay, here. I'm going to get rid of these bits of white, which I don't want. Okay. Loving it. Beautiful, nice and still. Now, what I forgot to mention, which I should have done, is I'm photographing... Uh, using mirror up on the camera and I'm using the mirror up on the camera so there's two clicks so when you hear the first click that isn't the shot that's just the mirror moving mm -hmm. opening up then I go blind I can't see what I'm doing <laughs> but the next shot I take the picture that's just shutter that's so but uh, it means that what happens is if I'm photographing at 15th of a second or eighth of a second and I press a button and the shutter goes down and there's a chance of moving the camera so it will be out of focus so there's two um, there's, yeah so just Bear that, bear that in mind. Um, perhaps not pin sharp, but pretty sharp. So, let's just check my exposure here. So, 15th of a second, 5, 6. Oh, focus. Beautiful. Right, so, can I get you to take your head further for me? Further, further, further. Whoop, okay. not quite. That's it, just there. And eyes straight ahead. So, pointing to the right-hand side of the window. That's it, that's it. You've got it. Beautiful. Love it. It's quite dramatic, actually. Um, I really like it. First one. Second one. 